Hello, everyone. I'm Craig Fitzpatrick, founder and CEO of PageCloud. There's a part of the internet that's fundamentally broken. It's the experience of creating something, putting it online, and sharing it with the world. We call this web publishing. For the last 10 or 15 years, if you wanted to make even a simple change to a page on the web, like move something one inch to the right, you better call a programmer or an agency, be willing to spend hundreds or thousands, and wait days or weeks. And we think that this is just wrong. You see, the problem is the people that know how to do this, the HTML, the CSS, they're less than 1% of the population. So that means the other 99%, at best, are limited to filling in the blanks of a rigid paint-by-numbers template that was developed by a programmer. And the experience is terrible. But all that's about to change. In a page cloud world, everyone with a web browser gets complete creative freedom, not just to surf the web or fill in the blanks, but to really create it. Let me show you what I mean. Suppose you're a small business owner, a restaurateur, and you've just paid an agency for a beautiful professional site. But now you just want to make some spot edits. From the page cloud menu in your browser toolbar that you dragged into place during sign up, just hit edit page. And in a second, page cloud comes to life, ready to accept your changes. If you know how to use PowerPoint or Keynote or Photoshop, you already know how to use page cloud. So we're going to make some spot edits right now. Henry, let's bump the price on the beef tartare by a couple of bucks. And we'll grab those last three menu items and delete those. And I know that Henry's already uploaded our wine cellar tour to YouTube. So we're going to go over to YouTube, grab the URL, and drag it right into our page. We automatically get a fully functional YouTube player. We're going to move that, let it hang off the right side of the page. And I know there's a Twitter widget down lower, and I want to make some space. So we're going to drag that down and let it overhang on the map a little bit. Perfect. Now, there's a local foodie event that we're going to sponsor. And we want to sell some tickets. So we'll go over to Eventbrite, grab that URL, and drag it to our page. Just like that, we've e-commerce enabled this site. Now we're going to back off the opacity a bit just to let that background image bleed through. Perfect. Now when we hit Save to look at our page, our changes are immediately live on the web. There's no other platform on the planet that gives you this continual control over your content. This is a very different experience than logging into some back-end content management system, fighting with templates, or coloring inside the lines. This is content creation and manipulation without restriction. Now, there's one last thing we want to do to this site and make sure it looks great on a mobile device. PageCloud dramatically simplifies the incredibly complex process of making web content mobile friendly. Just enter mobile mode. And you get to, in seconds, reflow your content for a small device. Now, this is pretty close, but there's a little bit of text there that's going to be awfully small on a phone. So we're going to bump the font size on that. Perfect. And when we hit Save, all of the technology is taken care of for us. Let's look at another example. Suppose you're a designer, and you're building something from scratch for a client. PageCloud actually changes the nature of your browser. From the PageCloud menu, just hit New Page. You get a blank canvas ready to bring your design to life. Now, Henry's got a Photoshop file open with a couple of layers. We're going to copy this poster image right out of Photoshop and paste it directly in our browser. It's immediately uploaded for us and available. We'll go back to Photoshop, copy one more layer, and we'll paste it and position it right from Photoshop to the web. This is a world first. Now, we're going to fill in the rest of this page in seconds. We'll start with a pre-built three-column text layout widget from the upcoming PageCloud store. We'll adjust our poster image. Next, we're going to pull in some images right off our desktop. And finally, we're going to finish this page off with a live, uh, sorry, a rich footer. Now, this isn't just static content. This is a live Instagram widget and a database-driven sign-up form. But to PageCloud, it all just is content. You can flip it horizontally and flip it vertically, resize and rotate, even clone objects. And when you're happy and hit Save, your design is instantly live on the web. No other platform in the world lets you bring your designs to life on the web this quickly or easily. This guy, I was thinking exactly the same thing. <laughs> you know, it would take me another 45 minutes to show you everything PageCloud can do. We didn't even touch on the, all the great developer features, full access to the source code, and development of custom widgets. Judges. This is so cool. This is so great. Thank I don't you. even <laughs> believe it. That's like how good it looks. It's cool. like, I don't even believe it. As a former market, non-technical marketing person, I am a humongous fan of things that would allow me to make easy changes to the site. 
Um, can you talk a little bit about other website building companies like Weebly, which you know, we're an investor in, and would they ever want to do this, and why could they not, and what are, you, what are they overlooking that you aren't? There's a couple of things. Um, you know, could someone do it? I suppose, theoretically. I can tell you it was really hard. I mean, there was a lot of research and development that went into um, 18 different things that are basically world firsts. The approach is very different. Um, you know, for the last 10 years, not a lot has really changed in this space. You've got two categories. You've got those that are trying to be visual. We're in the visual category, obviously. So is Weebly. Um, and then you've got these template-driven things, like your WordPresses and Squarespaces and whatnot. Um, there's a big advantage that comes sometimes when you start over, and that's what we did. We just thought about what is the experience that we want to have. Forget about what we think technology could do. Um, and we started from there, and I think the biggest difference in PageCloud for the user is that it's not about what we do, but it's about how we do it. It is all experiential, and it took some really deep technology to get there. It was really hard to make it really simple. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Good question. Um, I echo Shanna's um, feedback, having just redesigned a website. This is incredible. Um, my question is, are you going to resell other services through this? So will you enable designers to offer their services on top of what you have, or e-commerce services that aren't just drag and drop if I want to do something a little more custom? Sure. Yeah, I, I think I may have touched on that, but that's an, a great point. I mean, this is a platform, and with platform comes ecosystem. Mm -hmm. And so um, along with our public release in the summer, um, something that will coincide with that is our, we'll call it an app store, but really in there would be uh, pre-built designs, collections of matching fonts, um, pre-built widgets from other developers. Um, you know, that business model is pretty straightforward. We're not, we didn't invent that, um, but we, we think it's a great model. Um, and the other thing is that we want to showcase partners. And for us, partners typically means independence. So both designers and developers, um, we will create a program where you know, they have to be quality and we'll vet them or whatnot. But we definitely want to showcase and, if possible, feed them a bunch of customers. We're, we're really a platform company. I'll, I'll echo what they said. As someone who's also not technical, it's very nice to see something that's easy, a nice WYSIWYG type of um, uh, uh, interface. A question I have is around your distribution strategy, um, primarily going straight to, well, one is who is your target customer? Right. I imagine small businesses, but uh, also then how do you plan to reach um, all of those folks? Right. So uh, first things first, you know, who is our target? Long term, we think that this is a technology that really should be in the hands of everyone. I mean, if you have an email account and a web browser, we, we want you to have this. Um, that's maybe not a great business strategy. So the, we're zeroing in on the professional designer right now. Yeah. And also the developer who supports that designer, but primarily the, des uh, the designer. Because the ability to go straight from Photoshop to the web just r ridiculously changes their lives. I mean, they get to keep you know, double the amount of revenue, and they don't have to partner, and it's easy, and they can change it. Uh, it it's just really great. Very quickly, can you walk us through your background? Sure. Uh, yeah, I'm a startup guy from way back, uh, child nerd, hobbyist. Uh, I started working professionally in, in, in development shops when I was 19. Uh, quickly graduated into running dev shops, ran about five, well, I ran product for about five different startups before starting PageCloud. So, yeah. Does this work for you? apps? Oh, sorry. Go, sorry. go ahead. I just wondered, are you the only founder, or do you? I, I'm a sole founder. Uh, I have a wonderful team of seven. I feel like a coach who has uh, gotten my number one draft pick for every position, um, mm -hmm. most of whom have worked for different startups. Um, I think everyone except for one has worked for me in the past, so we really just hit the ground running. All right. All right. We're out of time. That was an awesome demo. This Great. is PageCloud. Great job. Great job.